We're Linda and Gary. We do uh, stained glass, and the name of our business is Peterson Glass Crafts. For years and years, you know, Linda had a job and I had a job, and, and we each went to our own respective jobs. And then when we retired, we spent some time traveling together uh, out of the country, and you can only travel so much. You know? So then we finally found something that, that we both enjoy and we can do it together. I think it's the fact that we can do it together that, that makes us stick to it. There's a lot of steps to making a stained glass a lot of piece. Steps, yeah. Pieces very seldom just materialize immediately. They, they start off as a rough idea and then they evolve. Linda and I can do everything that we do in order to build the glass. Uh, we tend to specialize in areas that are more comfortable for each of us, I would say. We would rather work together than alone. We just really enjoy being together. It, it's always a collaborative effort. When we start, uh, we have an idea of what we want the piece to look like. And as you go along in the various steps of the process, it doesn't look right. It never looks right in, in the middle somewhere. Once we start, once we have a pattern that we like, and we've cho chosen glass that we think will fit, we're pretty sure that once we get to the end, we'll like it. There's just times that it doesn't quite look right, but we'll keep going because we know the idea is a good one. You just sort of begin to expect that it's not going to look quite right in the middle, and when we're done, it'll be fine. Some of the glass has texture and pattern in it, and, and a good example is that piece right over there with the hummingbird and the magnolias. If you look carefully at the magnolia blossom petals, the pattern in the glass follows the petal. It's rare that we can find something like that, but when we do, we utilize it as much as we can. The same thing with the phoenix up there. You can see the directionality in all the pieces. We work really hard to make the piece homogeneous and make sure that the directionality of the glass and the patterning in the glass is, is appropriate for what it is we're building. I, I have the impression that our eyes can see the difference even if we don't notice the little unique aspects that contribute to what we see as the overall picture. I think one of the things that we find very exciting about it is that when we hang a piece of glass in a window, throughout the day that piece of glass changes as the light changes behind it that piece can look really rather dull in morning light the afternoon sun hits it and it glows or just the opposite it gets washed out in bright light but in soft light it is beautiful the way a stained glass piece changes throughout different lighting is exciting to see. Old Town, of course, is where people go looking for unique items. Um, and so to have our work shown in a store in Old Town, because somebody asked us to bring it there, is really pretty neat. 